The growth of IAM has been incredible. In the past couple of years, I've seen these guys just skyrocket in terms of the events that they're hosting, the production quality, etc. I, I was actually at IAM Katowice last year in 2014, and I thought it was phenomenal that they had the entire Spodek arena filled up with several different stages. It just felt like the crowd was incredible, and I didn't think that there was a way for them to you know, go even beyond that. But now like, there's this entire expo hall building right next to Spodek, and they've actually put in several different uh, stages and tournaments and, and sponsor uh, stages over there. And so now you have Spodek, the arena, just entirely dedicated to one one game at a time, this main stage. And just the, the I was there for the opening ceremonies and it, it is just phenomenal, the energy and production and just the fantastic way that ESL has been able to level up IM over the years. So, hello guys, it's Cabo Shad uh, from Gambit Gaming. I'm here to talk about uh, our loss yesterday. So, um, after the match against World Elite, we felt uh, really bad, obviously, like losing two games in a row at uh, IM Katowice. <coughs> Today, I feel a bit better. It's another day, and we'll try to move on and come back uh, stronger for the LCS next week. And obviously, try to do really well in playoffs. Uh, now I'm going to try to enjoy the event here at Katowice, do the fan meeting and so socialize. Um, yeah, I had prepared my red fence for uh, the day two, but unfortunately we we couldn't play. We lost uh, at day one. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Th thank you guys for supporting us. See you. experience to come here to Intel Extreme Masters. It's like, it's very unique. You have to be there to see what it's like. I mean, it's not the same in front of the stream. Here you, you can see the feelings, the emotions, you know, the thrill, the thrill that everyone feels. And I would really recommend to everyone to come and see. If you're a gamer, if you love games, just come to this kind of event. They're really good. It's, uh, it's uh, early Sunday afternoon, standing outside the hotel before we go into the finals here. Um, obviously very shocking tournament. I think uh, yesterday's games, G Tigers may have gotten a little bit cocky. Not sure what they were doing that Yasuo pick. Didn't really play a strong early game. Kind of uh, definitely game three. I think Lee especially uh, was making some poor decisions. And Spirit is playing really well. I mean, this has been a really huge tournament of upsets. So. I still think TSM probably going to pull out the finals. They showed that they had a really strong early game plan to contain Spirit in Game 1. And over a five-game series, I think that the fact that they have played together before will really help them. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, if they can continue with a strong level of outplay, they WE has been getting consistently better over the tournament. It's it's hard to call, but I'd still go with I'd still go with TSM in the finals. So this entire event so far this week has been incredible. A uh, lot of upsets I've been watching on both stages, StarCraft and League of Legends. Uh, I can't believe that there is no Korean team in the finals. I think this is a shocker to everybody, really. Especially the GE Tigers. Uh, especially, I mean, they're perfect season in Korea, and they came here and lost the seemingly worst team in China. And um, you know, I guess that could just goes to show you how esports is really flexible, and I think these are the things that make tournaments like this fun. These international tournaments are very important uh, for teams to really compete and uh, show each other what they're about. And I like the, the whole national pride kind of thing and the regional pride. And, um, it's going to be a good day. So tonight we're going to watch uh, WE versus TSM. So we got Asia versus America, basically. We've got China and. Um, you know, they both have strengths for sure. And I know WE is a team that literally just got together. And if they win this, it's going to be the craziest Cinderella story ever. So I'm really, really excited to watch today's finals. Hey guys, Leviathan here. We're here with the team. We're watching the, the finals of the StarCraft II tournament. Uh, it's 3-1 right now. Uh, waiting for this to conclude before we check out the finals of the League of Legends tournament. Uh, it's been a great tournament so far. We love interacting with the fans, getting to meet everyone, getting to speak to people. Um, yeah, it kind of...
It kind of sucks that we got knocked out of the tournament uh, so early, uh, but it's given us a lot of time to interact with the people and really, you know, just kind of get to know you guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the match, and then head back to the hotel, uh, get some rest before we fly back to Berlin, uh, and uh, get practicing again. So, gonna enjoy the rest of the IEM event. It's been great so far, and I'll see you guys later. Chobra here. Uh, just got off the stage from introducing the teams for the finals. Pick some bands are going through for game one, and wow, <laughs> what a weekend! Uh, the crowd has been phenomenal, and for the finals, we couldn't have asked for a better, better stage, better you know audience. Just filled the stadium, and I think this weekend uh, with the stories uh, with World Elite going to the finals, Korea falling down, TSM making it to the finals. Uh, it's a really big reminder why any of us started watching League of Legends uh, firsthand for me being here uh, on the stage. Uh, made me feel like a true fan again of the game. I could just enjoy it and feel the excitement of the players and the fans. So I'm very thankful uh, to, of course, ESL and uh, Intel Extreme Masters, but of course, uh, to all of you, uh, the fans who have supported me, thank you so much and I really hope I can stand on a stage like this again uh, sometime in the future.